it's Amanda, and I just wanted to jump on here real quick and say, who cares what they think? Seek to please God. Now, first of all, I would love to say to you today that I love you, you know, and I'm merely speaking the truth in love. I'm by no means an expert. The Bible encourages us that the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the enemy. I don't come before you as a perfect saint, but I come before you as somebody willing to be perfected by the Lord. And I come to share my testimony. He said they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. So um, really I pray, you know, that this scope is not for everybody, but it's for somebody, you know. And the bottom line is simply this, you know, if we're not careful, we can maneuver through life trying to please man. You know, what do they think? Who cares what they think? You know, that's the bottom line. When you're coming from a position of love, then you seek to please God. And God said you can't serve two masters. You'll love the one and hate the other, you know. So you have to make a firm decision on what you're going to do. And it doesn't mean that we won't have ups and downs, but it does mean that God will give us a way out of every single temptation that we face. You know, he's not a man that he should lie. So all of this trying to worry about what other people are thinking can be a hindrance to your assignment, to your destiny, to your purpose. And so, you know, there's never going to be a right time. You just got to make a decision. He said, our works are as filthy rags. That's the bottom line. You know, so you got to learn how to be free from the opinions of other people and seeking to please God. You will please, you know, those who are supposed to be in your assignment. You can't try to please everybody because then the enemy will get a foothold in that thing. So I just want to jump on here because I want to see the captive set free. You know, I'm still a work in progress, but the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. We have to continually be be um, willing to allow the Lord to perfect us. So I don't know what it is you may be going through right now, but just take the opportunity to say, Lord, free me from the opinion of other people. You know, Lord, I seek to please you. Lord, I seek to walk in love. He said, when a man's ways please God, it makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. So learn how to do that. Learn how to please God. Learn how to seek his presence. You know, learn how to come to him for wisdom and, and, and guidance and he'll lead you and he'll set you on the path where you need to be. You know, it's really that simple. Do you know that you're God's beloved? He said, beloved, I wish above all things that you be in health and prosper even as your soul prospers. Do you understand how much God loves us he loves us unconditionally and there are consequences to our actions but he always gives a way of gives us a way out of every temptation he said whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord our God shall be saved and I don't know about you but that sounds like good news to me so what I wanted to say seek to please God stop being so consumed about what other people are thinking why because all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God but God's mercy is new every morning great is his faithfulness understand that God is not mad at you and when you the sooner you get free from the opinions of other people the sooner you can walk in the God-given purpose and assignment that the Lord has for you Shalom